This week at the Travis County Correctional Facility in Dell Valley, 15 inmates tested positive for COVID-19. It's not known how the virus got inside, but they are the first cases to occur at the complex, according to Sheriff's Office spokesperson Kristen Dark. We built a plan for the day COVID might touch our general population. As soon as it happened, that plan went into effect and is being carried out now. Family members of inmates who contacted Fox 7 suspect the virus was brought in by a jailer. And I'm worrying it's going to end up spreading into where he's at and he's going to get it too. The downtown jail is where key parts of the sheriff's COVID-19 protocol takes place. It starts with isolation. People who go through the intake process are held for 10 to 14 days. Quarantine happens when an inmate shows symptoms or refuses to answer CDC screening questions. Those with confirmed cases of COVID-19 are moved to a separate floor and also placed into an individual cell. The jail downtown is where both quarantine floors are located. Currently, 40 inmates are classified as being in quarantine. The system we have in place right now is working. And evidence of that is the fact that we went 10 months without COVID in our general population. And the fact that throughout the entire pandemic, we've only had 80 inmates test positive. No inmates with the virus are held at the Dell Valley facility. Despite that, one inmate's mother told me she's worried about exposure risk and that opportunities to go outside were reduced from three hours to one. What I want them to do is I want them to provide more like hand sanitizer and, and more precautions for them because, you know, as it stands now, it, it you know, from what I'm, from what I'm getting is that the guards, the post officers are the ones that are taking precautions for themselves and not for the inmates. If they think just one hour a day is going to, it's going to keep, you know, anyone from getting it, it's not. In response to that, Dark told me sanitizing stations are in hallways. Soap and mask are also available. The hours outside were reduced to address the logistics of social distancing 1,800 inmates. My message to family members who are concerned, we understand. We're concerned too. We absolutely, positively do not want COVID in our jails. It affects our inmates and it affects our employees. We don't want this to happen. We're doing everything we can to stop it. Facilities undergo regular cleaning and a contractor has also been brought in to spray a long lasting disinfectant. In the downtown jail, the HVAC system for the jail cells do not recirculate air. Dark also says none of the inmates with the virus have required hospitalization and there have been no COVID-19 related deaths.